Alright, what's going on guys? Look, finally back in my kayak. I was uh, lucky enough to have one of my good friends, Nick Sherwood, let me borrow his kayak for a little bit until mine comes in. I'm getting a new one in guys, so I'm out back. Stay tuned for that announcement. I'll show it to you, I announced it in the video for you guys. But today, it's getting that time of the year. Um, it's getting colder, fish are on the move. And we're gonna start fishing these bridge structures for some monsters. These are gonna be a lot of, a lot of redfish, black drum, and sheephead coming in. Sheephead are not gonna be in thick yet. It's getting close, so not that time yet. The water temperature's still, still a little high. But this, this should be, it might be here a couple of, here and there. But uh, let's get after it. Let's gonna get on some monsters, boys. Guys, the uh, setup I'm using today is a Dio Ballistic 2500. 18 pound braid and an I rod Kamana 733 spinning medium heavy perfect inshore rod perfect for sheep head some reds and if you fight them around a the structure you get you a black drum that's why you have the kayak and the instant reverse in this PDO job which will help but as the rig I'm using is a 14 pound fluorocarbon this right here is a birds of prey sheep head jig swing jig I, I swear by these things guys these things are the bees need when it comes to sheephead fishing. Trust me. And of course, still the crabs. I'm gonna try on this side real quick. Oh, look at that crane that's in the water like that. That's wild. This bridge took some damage, guys. Took some damage. Viva Hurricane uh, Sally. As you can see, that, that crane is completely in the water. Fishing about 18 foot of water right here. Just been getting me some. Fish on, guys. Good job. Gotta get him out of that structure. But I'm pretty sure this is a drum. The eye rod bent. Can I come this way? Come this way. Nope, come this way. Nope, come this way. Come this way. Come this way, buddy. He's going back through the structure. There you go. I thought from the way he took, he thumped it just like a black drum. Now, this is a light tackle for these big monsters right here. 2,500, 15 pound braid. He wants to go again. Let him go. We got him in open, open water. So we're okay right now. So keep that constant pressure on him. Ah. He's gonna give me a fight. That tail pumping. Oh, I'm getting tired. There he is. Yep, big old black drum. Big black drum. Probably can't see him on camera. He's that big old tail. Fit my neck on the birds of prey jig. Nope. 
caro. This guy is massive. I really don't want to put him on my lap, but he's a big boy. Caught him on that bird to prey jig right in the corner of the mouth. Tell you these things catch fish, man, I'm telling you. him that's a massive beast right there big old big ugly hi buddy he's gone back to the deep you see this is the two times stronger hook these guys are jackhammering the hook didn't even bend ain't no damage to this jig at all but this jig right here is the bee's knees guy, I'm telling you. I feel like a sheep head, guys. Feels like a sheep head, the way it's thumping. Straight up sheep head. Come on, baby. What I need. Sorry about the loud noise they're working on this bridge. Due to Hurricane Sally. I'm going to loosen the drag up just a, just a hair. Give me a little more. I feel like this is a sheep head. Just stump it just like one. Oh yeah, we got a sheeper. Just seen him. Just seen his. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Nice one too. Nice one too. Come here. Come to daddy. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Woo, I'm pumped. Guys, it's been so long since I've been out in the kayak. It's been a hot minute, but we got some dinner here. Now I want you to look at this. The birds of prey is back on, on the game. Like I said, man, these jigs are the real deal. Beautiful, nice, probably about 17, 16 inch sheep head right here. This thing is a beast. Beautiful. These jig heads absolutely hammering. Hammer the sheep head. I'm gonna be eating good. Let's go. First thing I'm gonna do with this guy, I stick my thumb right here and underneath this fin, and that bleeds the fish. By bleeding the fish, it helps the meat turn out 10 times better. Stick your thumb in there. One finger, let's work it around. You gonna get his heart? It's gonna start bleeding out. Now I'm just gonna take the fish grips, grab them in the mouth, bleed them out in that water, put that ice in them. I feel like I got a drum. I wanted the sheep it, but I take it up the pools. I don't think he's a big one. Oh, he might be. Might be a red. It's coming up very If it's a sheep, but he's a nice one. Oh my gosh, guys, it is a complete monster sheephead. Holy shit. Oh, excuse my friends, I gotta get him in. This guy is a monster. Monster. Oh, he's stud. Stud. He's over 20 for sure. Oh. Oh. Come here. Yaka. Oh, he heavy. He thicker than a snicker. Heavy than a Chevy. Come on, little baby, little baby, 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 baby. Hey, hey. Oh, this guy's a, <laughs> a mondo. You can tell this by that head and that mouth and the snaggle tooth. Oh, he in. 
All right, pray jig does it again. I'm telling y'all, that's where it's at. If you want to catch sheephead, he makes perfect color. Get the brown. Mm. I'm gonna get some pliers for you because this guy's a stud. Freaking stud. I, I thought it was a drone the way it fought. It wasn't thumping like a sheephead. Like I said, like, oh, it could be probably a drum. Because you, if you cut sheephead before, you know they thump. They go straight to the bottom and they thump almost like a snapper. This guy was doing the opposite. These pliers out. Oh, I got them out already. Yep, there they are. Let's see if I can get that bad boy. Got it. And look, I put pressure on that fish. And that's not even bent, guys. It didn't even bend. I caught this. This, this absolute tank, guys. Tank. Oh, I'm gonna measure him. Let's see what he measures. He might be citation worthy, actually, too. Dang, too bad I don't have a marker. Oh man, citation sheep head. I'm hooking these uh, filler crabs or speed crabs, whatever you want to call them. It's going through the back, back leg. Working around to the other back leg and try to hide the hook as much as possible while also have exposed tip. See, just like that. So it looks like he's pretty much hanging on a rock or an oyster or something. And it's the same color because they might think it's the part of the crab or whatnot. You come over here and you drop it right next, as uh, close as the pollen as you can. Let it hit the bottom and have reel a couple reels up. Once you do that, you ain't get no bites of a right there. Reel up a little bit more. And see see what water column sheep at you find the sheep head at. By far the smallest sheep head I ever caught. Look at this thing. <laughs> Micro. Hi, right, buddy. What's it going? That's a good sheep head. Gotta get him out. Oh. Come on, I feel him on the pond. He's coming out though. I'm gonna put a little more drag on him. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Another stud. Another stud, guys. This guy is massive. Oh, she's a big one. I got her. Whoo! I think it's massive. That's the sheep head, fellas. That is a sheep head and a half. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, it's a stud. Okay, Jake Wallen. Him up by his gills, do you? Corner of the mouth. Alright. I'm about to bleed him. 